Stop using console.log like a junior developer. I know you hate debugging, but what you don't know is that console.log is way overused and there are better ways to debug your JavaScript code. It will help you look like a more experienced developer and help out debug the code faster. Let's open up the IDE of your choice and see what I'm talking about. I'll open VS Code here. And if I type console, you'll see I get a variety of autocomplete options. Some of these can be a lot better and appropriate for you according to your situation. Let's see what some of these situations are. When you inspect some web applications that are written by developers probably better than you, you might have seen messages like this. These are messages shown from console.warn and console.error. When there is a bug that can stop the working of your application, using another console.log to debug it would not work. But using console.warn and console.error are good ways to overcome this. Want to see how much time that piece of code took to run? Use console.time. First, create a timer and then give it a unique name. Then run the piece of code and finally call time end. As you can see, this code took about 0.4 millisecond to run. This is very useful in CPU intensive applications that would take some time like neural networks or HTML canvas reading. Want to see how a function was called? Use console.trace. Over here, there is a method called random function that calls trace, which calls console.trace. So when you call random function, you get output like this. It shows an anonymous function that called random function, which in turn called trace. If you group console messages, you can make your console easier to read. You can group console messages in the section of code using console.group and end that group using console.group end. As you can see, all the test messages come under my message group. Let's add tables to visualize data better. Imagine we have two objects. Simply console.log would make the data look messy. A table would be much better. We can use console.table to make JSON or objects look much better. Never knew JavaScript consoles could look so clean, right? So, so beautiful.